In this lesson, we are going to create a systems level overview diagram or a wiring line diagram showing several key aspects of this system that you see here. This is an automated piece of machinery that creates grates and applies them to the interior walls for underground mines and tunnels. We need to create a single line diagram of the control box section of the system. As you can see, there's a box with various controls, buttons, and switches on the front of it. Inside of it, there will be a PLC, transformers, circuit breakers, and other power components. To create a diagram like this, we would do that in the electrical schematic software that you see here. I have a blank project that I've already created called the Bolter, and I want to create a new wiring line diagram. In the document book that is here for us to use, I will create a new wiring line diagram object. This type of diagram will only allow wiring line diagram symbols to be used with it. There is also the option for a mixed scheme, which allows you to create multi-wire schematics and single wire schematics all on one page. For the purpose of this example, we will choose the wiring line diagram. If we zoom out by double clicking with our middle mouse wheel button, we will see that we have a default template available for us. This default template can be set in your options. Under the project pull down menu, you will see configurations and project. Here, you will notice that I have a title blocks tab and for a single line diagram type object, it is using a sheet format called B without column. There is a button under the selection column where we can select a different template for the defaults going forward. So if we want a D size template for the next time we insert a single line diagram for this template, we will have that available. I'm gonna close this and cancel that. If you ever need to change it on the fly, I can right click the sheet that I'm working on and replace the title block with a different title block. In this case, I will select B with rows. This one actually has row numbers here so we can get a cross reference for the symbol's location going forward.